Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video and a few videos back I showed you my uh, complete physical Nintendo Switch collection and I guess you seem to like it. But to be honest, I'm not storing my games in the game cases, I usually store them in cases like this. So the single cartridges sorted this way so I can take a lot of games with me. And yeah, this is a pure chaos. There was a system once. <laughs> I mean, mainly it's also um, because of me taking my switches with me. Then I have uh, several different cases for them. So using also those slots, I took all the games out now. But yeah, sometimes I just want to take those games with me. But sometimes I want to take all my games with me for meetups or stuff like that. Not that at the current times, but yeah. Um, so this is why I like the system, but we need to sort it. And I asked you in a shorts video whether you would like to see me sort my Nintendo Switch games and you agreed and said it would be interesting so let's get started. So we have the three cases here um, and the games are still inside I think the first step would be to just get all the games out of it so I will do that now. <laughs> okay they are all out and to be honest this makes me super happy to look at. <laughs> this looks so nice little forbidden cookies to eat <laughs> and snacks don't eat them they're very bitter and too expensive to be eaten um but yeah that's all my games i counted them it's 67 games and they now need a new home and but just just looking at that makes me so happy <laughs> So we have our three Hori containers here and uh, let's not forget we also have the case slots uh, that we could use. And yeah, now you have to come up with a system you like. And um, the system I was working before that was that I usually sorted them by um, franchise and like have all the franchise games, like all the Mario games together and stuff like that. And um, but while traveling a lot back and forth between two flats with my boyfriend and my flat, so we're one week there, one week here, and um, yeah, playing games with friends online, I started to put all multiplayer games in here that you could play as a multiplayer one. But yeah, I, I kind of like the system because I only had to pack this one, but uh, usually then I did not know whether there's all the games I like and ended up packing all free and uh, I don't want to do that because I don't want to take my whole collection with me on the train every time I go to uh, get uh, go to my boyfriend's place because this is a lot of money as you can see these are expensive so um, I preferably would go back to the situation where I just sorted them um, franchise wise and then take out the games that I want to take with me and put them inside here into this case and use that for for that purpose um, and yeah also leaving out maybe some slots and some spaces for games that might be added later, I don't know, that are still in the in, in the preparation to be being bored. Um, but yeah, I think I will go back to the franchise system and now I still have to decide which, which one we're starting with. I'll use the, the white one I think first because it's, yeah, it was my oldest one, it was my first one. You can also see it also, it's had this Nintendo Switch logo printed on it, but um, it's already rubbed off, so. <laughs> and um, I think I will start with this one and I will start with all the Mario games because usually there would be the Zelda games because like the Zelda games are my favorite games, but I will definitely put the Zelda games into the Zelda one, the. <laughs> so, but we'll start with the Mario games. So with Paper Mario, we have Mario Maker 2, we have Mario Party, we have of course Mario Kart, then the newest edition, uh, Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury. I just got this like three or four weeks ago. Um, this will go inside of course. Super Mario 3D All-Stars, um, Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom, even though it's not by Nintendo, it's by Ubisoft, but I still won't have it here. Of course, oh, how could I forget that? Mario Odyssey, <laughs> such a classic. And somewhere here, there has to be uh, the Mario Tennis one. Where is it? Where is uh, Mario Tennis All-Stars? There it is, it's Mario Tennis Aces. Woohoo! Super Mario Deluxe, almost forgot that one. And now that I have all the Mario games, I think I will now look for Mario Close games. So Mario Universe games, everything with a Yoshi, with Donkey Kong, with Toad. So I see Toad's treasure track here. I have Donkey Kong here. Um, there's Luigi's Mansion 3. We have, um, ooh, where is it, where is it? There should be, ah, Yoshi's Crafted World. Um, and I think this is mainly it. Uh, I would also take this one, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. This is also part of that for me. And I think that's all. 
But I think on the top two slots I will put in my most played games so I can see them um, yeah, quite fast. It's Animal Crossing, of course, and Splatoon, even though I don't need those cartridges that much anymore because I got digital copies of those games because I don't want to exchange the cartridges all the time. Um, <laughs> so yeah, those both um, go on top and now yeah, my favorite Mario games, so to say, go on top here. I think I'll start with the classics. Um, it's of course Odyssey. Um, love that game, it's so amazing. Um, and next to it there should be Mario Kart. I don't love Mario Kart that much because I, I'm just too bad, but it's such a classic. Like those are the two classic Mario games and I think they should be in front. Um, same goes for Mario Party because I'm playing that a lot and I like it a lot. And um, should we now go with, I think I will put the newest one in here, this 3D All-Stars and Bowser's Fury, just because it's closer to Odyssey and the games um, that are here. Now on the second second floor, so to say, um, I think we'll start with 3D All-Stars. Um, haven't played it yet, but I'm definitely planning to do that. And yeah, maybe next to it, let's put Mario and the Rabbit's Kingdom, then Aces. The Origami King, haven't played a lot of that one, um, but also planning on doing that. And now we have one more slot for new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe and Mario Maker 2. I know Mario Maker 2 is also a big, big, big staple, but I'm not playing it that often because I'm just too bad at it. <laughs> and for the Mario Universe games, we put Toad's Treasure Tracker and Yoshi next to each other, um, especially as the cartridges are so similar, I like that. Um, and I would go for Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, even because it's also quite similar to those cartridges. And next to it, Mario and Sonic. And then there's Luigi Mansion 3 down here, even though I love Luigi, uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. It's one of my favorite Switch games. It's so nice, but I think it looks best this way. Or I have another idea. I will, yeah, put Luigi's Mansion 3 up here to Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. And then put the Mario and uh, Sonic at the Olympic Games down here and Sonic next to it. Because, yeah, it belongs together, I would say, and yeah, I like it. And as I mostly enjoy the Mario games for the platformer action, even though there's lots of different games that have nothing to do with platforming, like uh, Mario and Rabbids and stuff like that, and also the Paper Mario one, um, I think I will put some platformer games in here just to stick to... Yeah, the main theme of, of, of this box, so to say. And um, yeah, I'm looking at you, Super Lucky's Tale, um, and also Raymond Legends. They can go together. Um, what are other games we have? Um, Unravel 2. Um, there should somewhere be yeah, Spyro and also Clash Bandicoot. And I want to have Clash Bandicoot and Spyro next to each other because for me they also belong together because they're kind of similar. <laughs> um, oh, what's other platformers that I have? Let me take a look. Yeah, I'm going for Unravel 2 and uh, SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. And this makes this box really well-rounded. And every time I'm looking for a little platform action or some Mario action or my two favorite games, I can grab the white one and we finish the first one. Oh, I love sorting stuff. Sorting stuff makes me so happy. Okay, next one is the Zelda one and I want to put in there all the Zelda games and adventure-like games, I would say. So let's get the Zelda games first. We have um, Breath of the Wild, of course. Um, unfortunately, I um, a friend of mine borrowed um, A Link Between Worlds. No, it's not A Link Between Worlds, it's a 3DS game. <laughs> uh, I'm of course talking about Link's Awakening. So Link's Awakening should go in here, but I don't have the cartridge with me at the moment, but I will leave out a spot. Just uh, yeah, in honor to for this game and also for me as a as a notice that um, it's still uh, at my friend's place and not in my collection. But we will start with Breath of the Wild. This will be the Link's Awakening place, and someday, someday when Breath of the Wild Two is coming out, and I hope it's very very soon, um, fingers crossed, <laughs> um, it will go in here. And the other Zelda games um, that are yeah. Perfect for this place are the Hyrule Warrior games. We have Hyrule Warriors uh, 1, so to say, or Definitive Edition. And we have Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Haven't played it yet. Oh, 
I have to. I really wanted to, and I'm lo really looking forward to it. Um, someday I definitely want to get the um, um, Cadence of Hyrule as a physical edition, um, but it just came out. I have it as a digital edition, so it feels a little wasteful to get the physical edition just for my collection. But I'm such a huge Zelda fan, so I want to put it in there. Um, but on the other hand, with Breath of the Wild 2 coming out, maybe someday, hopefully soon. And um, also the Skyward Sword remake that I ordered as well. And Link's Awakening missing, I think I will leave this page like this. Because I want to put Breath of the Wild 2 in here, I want to put Link's Awakening maybe then here, and um, the um, Skyward Sword HD remake will have its place here. And as it will come out quite soon, not super soon, but quite soon, I will leave this part in here. So, this is the first page. It, it, I know, I know. It's, it's also not satisfying for me to leave those pages out, but uh, looking forward uh, to the next games coming out in my collection, it just makes sense to leave the spots for them here. Because after that, I, I if I pack them full now, I just have to resort everything after, and I don't want to do that. So, yeah, we leave it like that. Rhyme is another Zelda-esque adventure, so I want to put that in here. Um, and what are other games that might fit it? Maybe the Harry Potter collection. I know it's a kind of it's it's a little bit different in in the tonality, but it's not an RPG. It's a it's an adventure for me, and also a game that I love. And I think it's fine to put it in here. Also, the Assassin's Creeds. Um, we have the Assassin's Creed Free Remastered and the Rogue Collection. Um, the classic Assassin's Creed. Like I know newer Assassin's Creed are more in the role playing genre, but like the classic Assassin's Creed, they are more adventure games in my opinion. So I will also put them in here, but I think the other way around. I think free and then the rogue edition. And as the tones of the games are getting a little darker, I will also put Astral Chain and Bayonetta in here. I think they belong together because um, they are from the same studio. Um, they are, have the same tonality, in my opinion. And uh, it, I'm so sad that I don't have Bayonetta 1 as a cartridge. I only have a digital because it came with Bayonetta 2. But um, maybe someday when I go to Japan, maybe I'll snack up one of the cartridges over there. <laughs> but um, as long as I don't have one, um, this slot will be taken by Astral Chain. So I'm fine with that. And now I have to make the decision whether I will fill the rest up with RPGs and make this the adventure RPG binder or I will just put in mixed games in here and um, save this for the rest. But I think I will start with RPG games, RPG-like games um, here because then I have all of them at one place, so it's fine, it's fine. Let's get started with the Xenoblades. I always like when there's two. Um, of one kind from a game and I can put them next to each other and therefore I will go on with Dragon Quest Builder and Dragon Quest Builder 2. I played, played so many hours of Dragon Quest Builder, I love this game so much and I also got the second one because I love it so much but I have uh, the rule for myself, I set up the rule that I have to finish Dragon Quest Builder 1 first before I can start Dragon Quest Builder 2 but I'm really in the mood for it, I think I will I will play some Dragon Quest. Um, and of course I also have Dragon Quest 11 Definitive Edition and this goes um, next to its brothers, so to say, or brothers in... it's not the, They are not main Dragon Quest titles, so they are not real brothers, but they are definitely cousins. So <laughs> the cousins go together. And now this is the only sad thing that there's a slot where I cannot put anything that belongs to the series. It would just be perfect to have four of them. Um, but I think... A good good game to put in here just for my for my feeling is um, the fractured butt hole um, the fractured butt hole no, I, I did not say a nasty word I just uh, said what the title was from um, um, the South Park series it's it's I think it's also an RPG adventure kind of thing so I think it goes in here quite well and um, yeah rounds up this page of amazing games so and what will we put into the last page Oh my god, do I, do I put the Pokemon games? I mean, Pokemon games are RPG games, but I'm afraid that there are too many. That, it's, that it will fill up the page and... Ah, doesn't matter. I, I, I will still do that. I will go on with the Pokemon games. So we have Pokemon Sword. I only have Sword, um, um, not Shield. And Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Unfortunately, I am a little disappointed by the main series games. <laughs> uh, I, I enjoyed Eevee as a remake. Um, I'm looking forward to the remake for, um, was it Pearl? Pearl and Diamond. So I think I will leave out a spot for that one here. And also the remake, or not a remake, but the new Pokemon Snap. Um, and I think the Arceus game is too far along to leave a spot for that. So I, I, I will not fill it up here. But um, the remake coming soon and also Pokemon Snap coming soon. So I will leave out 
two spots for them and now have two spots here to fill up with games that might fit it. I was thinking about Fire Emblem Free Houses, but um, also like one of my favorite games ever is The Witcher. Uh, but I want to have The Witcher close to Skyrim because this feels kind of similar. Ugh, this is hard. Um, <laughs> I think I will put The Witcher and Skyrim in here, leave the Pokemon spots and exchange the fractured but whole um, with Fire Emblem because also Fire Emblem feels really close to that kind of genre here and the feeling and yeah this is fine for me this feels good. I was also thinking again about uh, this one because I found Ori and the Will of the Wisps um, and as I also want to get Ori and the Blind Forest I will get rid of Spongebob and Unroll 2 <laughs> and put um, Ori and the Will of the Wisp in here and leave one spot for Ori and the Blind Forest because I definitely want to get a physical edition of that game. It's beautiful and it's platformer and it belongs here. So yeah, you, you see how, how this is going. So I, I, I'm deciding stuff and then I'm changing my mind and yeah. But and now I think it's fine. Those binders are fine and we can go to the third binder which will now have to hold all of these. And I know it's it's weird and it will be kind of a weird mix of those games, but I think we can make it work. So usually categories that I also like to yeah have together are like puzzle, training, board games, anything like that. <laughs> but I also like to have together the movement games, Just Dances, because I love Just Dance. Spring Fit would go in here as well. I mean, one to switch is kind of in between between those two because you have a lot of movement games, but it's also like a puzzly tech demo kind of game, I would say. But I'm also a big fan of simulation games and, and strategy simulation games. So these would go together as well, really, really well. We have some platformers left. Wonder Boy, forget about that one. On Revel 2, we have that one. And also a nice category, a nice bundle I like to pack up is multiplayer games. So games um, that um, yeah have mainly a multiplayer um, um, category. So we have the Monster Hunter Rise, super new. Uh, just came out <laughs> two days ago, I love it. Um, and Diablo 3, Super Smash Bros would be perfect for that. Also I see arms in that in that area. Usually Splatoon would also go in here but as it has a special place in my heart um, it's, it's not here. Uh, maybe Overcooked but also Overcooked is more in the party game genre so to say so some some would go in here. <sighs> With the simulations we have Story of Season, um, the Welcome to Mineral Town. So do you see do you see this is hard this is hard if you want to have like a system in your head and I know maybe it's not it makes no sense for you but in my head it makes sense and it's also really good for me because I usually when I want to play something I want to play something by genre or by style that it is and and therefore I want to have like similar style games together because then it's easier for me to yeah just grab one of the little binders and say ah oh, I'm in the mood for a platformer and then I have all my platformers that I can see there so <laughs> What what should we do? I think we should go with the first the first page with multiplayer games. Um, we put the newest one, the new baby Monster Hunter, on top. It has the the, the top spot. I want to have the Diab uh, Diablo free next to it. Then Super Smash Bros. I don't like the game because I'm just bad at it. I I I know I should just get better at it, but. <laughs> then would enjoy it more but it's just not for me. Um, then we have arms and I think it's perfect to put like the movement games next to them. Uh, problem is that this is not all my Just Dances. We have Just Dance 2021, we have Just Dance 2019, I have Just Dance 2020 just as a download edition but I definitely want to get the physical edition because I'm a collector. I have all the Just Dances from starting from Just Dance 1 on the Wii and then on the Wii U and I just love Just Dance. <laughs> Um, and yeah, and also have Just Dance 2018 for the Switch, which is also um, a front has board at the moment. So I need four slots for this, so I will not start with Just Dance here. And I also want to have the ring fit next to it. So maybe a little bit more multiplayer action. What's what's also multiplayer? Um, we have Overcooked, or right? some some definitely, definitely you can put some some in here. Uh, oh, I think I will get. Overcooked 2 out of here and put in Bomberman because Bomberman is also really really fun as a multiplayer with many people. So yeah, I'm satisfied with this page. This page is fine. 
now I would do the Just Dances and we definitely would start with how, no, the newest one comes up here. So this is 2021, 2020 goes here. Then we have 2019, where are you? Little friend, oh, there you are. And 2018 goes in here and I will also leave spots for these. So, because I really want to get this and I think I will get it soon and I should not forget that I am a friend test that. So we'll leave it here. Put in ring fit and now would need another movement game so to say hmm. or do we maybe 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 we get arms out of here because art is arms is also kind of a movement game in my in my understanding <laughs> so it fits this quite well but it would be another multiplayer gamey game hmm overcook 2 we can put overcook 2 in here this is fine yeah maybe hmm yeah okay Okay, let's do the simulation games quickly. Civilization, Two Point Hospital, I think they will not be in here that often because I really like to take them with me because I love playing those. Um, we have the Oracle of Season 1 and ooh, another uh, simulation game. What could we put in? Um, let's, let's put Terraria in. Terraria also is fitting. Mm, yeah. Sounds good to me. And I will now start with the puzzle game. So we have the latent one, um, because it's more story driven, not as puzzly as like a Puyo Puyo Tetris or a brain training. Um, oh, and what's nice next to that? Let's, I, I know it's not a real puzzle game, but we'll take Child of Light. It's fine. It, I think from all of these, it's, it's, it's fitting it the best. It, it looks the best. Oh no, we have the problem that my binder is too small because I left out the slots and the spaces. Shoot! <laughs> no, I don't want to buy another one, but I think I have to. <laughs> Shit. So let's put in these Nintendo Wii games, like the, the, the 51 Clubhouse World games and brain training. Um, and I think one to switch also fits just nicely. Same for Puyo Puyo Tetris. And now we have two slots left and they're random they're completely random so which of these should should i put in there hmm. Hmm. i think i'll leave this open you can decide you can decide which of these two games should go in here <laughs> because i don't know I, I it's hard for me to decide I now have kind of the urge to put like one of these in these empty slots, but the empty slots have reasons, but I think I will end up um, just putting the other ones in the case um, that I'm not needing at the moment. Um, but yeah, this is not satisfying, sorry. <laughs> but that's it for now. We uh, sorted my collection. I hope you liked it. I am super satisfied that it's now sorted even more. I would be more satisfied if all of the games would fit in, but I just have to get a new binder, I think. Woohoo! <laughs> That's the problems you have when collecting video games, and a lot of them at the same time. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it a lot. It was fun, it was fun. It was super calming. It was a super calming, nice thing to do. Um, now, uh, just, uh, yeah, as something to do on, on, on an afternoon, evening, and, and, and yeah. Just have fun with people, watch it. This just helped me a lot. It was really, really relaxing. Thank you for that. And yeah, let me know if you're interested in something else. What what else would you interest in seeing from my Nintendo Switch collection? And yeah, thanks so much for watching. See you again. <laughs> See you again soon. Bye bye.